What's up everyone? I'm Jeff Gresham and welcome back for yet another video. Today, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on the Canon R7 when it comes to motorsports. When I got my R7, the drag strip was closed for repairs, so I had to wait to take it out to really test its limits. But in the meantime, I used it for, you know, a wedding shoot, a junior rodeo, a car show, and even took it out to shoot some wildlife. But what I really wanted to do was take it out for motorsports. When I was researching the R7, initially I couldn't really find anything on it being used for motorsports. There was one channel that did, but it wasn't very helpful because they just kind of talked about the image quality. I saw it being used with wildlife, mainly birds, people talking about the eye focusing system, but never a real world review of any motorsports. So I wasn't really even sure if this camera would be the right choice for me. But once the drag strip finally opened back up, I had to test it. I brought it out and shot away. And I used it in low light. I used mechanical shutter. I used electronic. I used it to answer all the questions that I wanted answers to. All right, so here I am back at the old drag strip. It is back open again. Awesome. Uh, I'm here for the very first uh, $5 Friday night, uh, right before the end of the season. So this this uh, weekend is the end of the season. It was closed down for most of the season due to all the damage. It's back open and uh, I'm here for it. So we're about to get it, see what we can get. Stay tuned. So let's start with low light. As you would expect from a crop sensor camera, the low light capabilities are quite lacking, but I kind of expected that. However, it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. You know, it got pretty dark out at the drag strip at night and overall it performed pretty well. So as far as low light, I give it a C. I sat at the burnout box and clicked away using mechanical shutter. And as you would expect, there were absolutely no issues. Every shot was straight, no rolling shutter because shutter curtain opened and closed. So obviously it gets an A. Next, I'll talk about the auto focusing system. Now this is where things get a bit weird. So the R7 inherits its focusing system from the R3. Now a lot of people reviewing this camera were shooting birds and would often find the autofocus either front focusing or back focusing while shooting. Now, I also ran into this. I lost a lot of great shots because of it, but that's not all. So before the drag strip opened, I also took this camera to a local car show. When I took it out to that car show, I found that about 90% of everything I shot was nowhere near in focus, and I couldn't figure out why. It was a sunny day, my focus would appear to lock on what I wanted, but then would suddenly jump out of focus. So after doing a bunch of tests, and Going through all the camera settings, I realized it was partially user error, meaning my fault, and lack of contrast and bright light. So the user error was I was shooting in servo at high speed continuous and I was using back button focus but had not disabled shutter button focus. So as I would focus with the back button, I'd get focus locked and then hit the shutter causing the focusing system to refocus and I'd lose my shot. Then when it came to the brightness outside, they're just wasn't enough contrast for the focus to understand what it was actually locking on to. But now with that fixed and retested, I'll give the autofocus a solid beat. So the main thing I hear about from these wildlife photographers while using electronic shutter is how bad the rolling shutter is. And also when it comes to baseball, golf, and a lot of fast action sports, it's best to either stay in mechanical or first curtain electronic. So while I was shooting the wedding that I was doing, I used electronic the whole day as well as at you know the junior rodeo as expected it worked just fine there was no super fast movement so no shots were warped due to rolling shutter but then i thought i need to see for myself how electronic would work for dragsters now you're probably laughing just like i was because there's no way in hell that any of these shots would look good at all but i had to test it that's where this camera surprised me so i used electronic shutter during a lot of the burnouts i shot and although there was a couple warped shots, 
most of the shots looked great with no warping at all. Lines were straight, everything was good. So I decided to press my luck and use electronic for pan shots. Now I'm sitting here thinking, pan shots with electronic shutter, moving the camera while focusing on a vehicle, going over 100 miles per hour? This is gonna be an epic fail. I just wanna jump in here real quick. If you guys enjoy the content on this channel, please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe for future content, and uh, yeah, that's it. Now back to the video. Let's see if there's a lot of uh, rolling shutter when I'm doing motorsports. With the R, there wasn't a whole lot. There was some though. This one I assume is gonna be a lot worse. Well, out of all the pan shots I took with electronic shutter, only about 10 were warped. I was shooting 30 frames per second, so I took a lot of shots. So to only have about 10 warped was pretty amazing. So I figure with like baseball, for example, most of the movement is the bat swinging. The person's relatively stationary and the bat's the main thing moving. The camera's also stationary, but the focus would be on the batter as well as the bat. So with no camera movement, and batter stationary, the bat is gonna get warped because it's the only thing moving. So when it comes to pan shots, the camera is moving with the car. The car is staying in focus, and since the camera is moving with the car, this gives the illusion that the car is stationary and that the only thing moving is the background. But at low shutter speed, the background is so blurry, you can't make out anything, pretty much eliminating the look of any rolling shutter. It's actually pretty cool when you think about it. And it's really tough to explain. I'm not sure if what I said made sense to you, but it does to me. So just try it and you'll, you'll understand. So with electronic shutter, I have to give it a solid B+. Overall, I'm very, very pleased with this camera from Motorsports. It's great. It does everything I wanted it to do and then some. I was pleasantly surprised by the electronic shutter and not quite as pleased with the autofocus, but not so much as to be disappointed by the camera. You know, I'm not very good at catching wildlife, as you'll see in another video coming up, but for the purpose of motorsports, this camera is awesome. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you in some little way and answered at least one of your questions. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave me a, a like to help with the algorithm. And uh, that's all I have for this video. So until the next time, get out and shoot. And I'll see you in the next one. Later. All right, well, hopefully you can see me, but uh, if not, here, hold on. All right, hopefully you can see me now. So out of all the places for somebody to park, there's literally, you can see, there's all this area. Stuff right there, over here, all that. Of all places, okay, so you see, I'll park, there's a little cone, there's a wash this happens really dude really that's the best place you could find to park